Hello there everyone, I'm Steven and welcome to Bearded 3D. In this video series, I'll show you how to create custom firmware for your Prusa printer. In this first video, I'll be guiding you through the initial setup process on Windows. In future videos, I'll discuss Mac setup, easily editable things within the firmware, and how to flash the firmware. There will be links in the video description for where to download all parts mentioned in this video. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is download Arduino 1.8.5. Prusa recommends using version 1.8.5, and through my own experiences, works the best on both Mac and Windows. You can download 1.8.5 here for either Windows or Mac. Next, we'll need the actual firmware. For that, head over to Prusa's GitHub repository, or if you want the HEPED preheat error fix with 3.5.1, you can head over to my repository and download it there. To download, simply click the cloner download button, download zip, and then extract it once it's downloaded. Once we have the firmware in Arduino, we need to make some changes. So let's open the readme to visualize what we need to change. So we're going to navigate to Prusa firmware, and then the readme file. So to view and edit code, I use Visual Studio Code, which is a free code editor that's available on both Windows and Mac. So inside, inside the readme, we're going to have a bunch of stuff that talks about Arduino. The thing we want to get is this part right here. Inside the quotation marks, you want to copy this line that says compiler CL flags. And then what you want to do is you want to open up program files, go to your Arduino installation folder, navigate to hardware, Arduino, AVR, and then this platform.txt file, we're looking for the compiler CL flags. What you want to do is highlight that whole line, and then just paste in the line that we just copied. I've already made this change, but make sure you save it and then close out. Next, we need to add the rainbow board to Arduino. So going back to the readme, we need to copy this line right here that talks about additional boards manager URLs. Once you have that copied, go to Arduino, go to File, Preferences, and this line right here where it says additional boards manager URLs, you're gonna paste it in there. There's no right click option, so you do have to use Control V. Hit OK. After that, go to Tools, Board, Boards Manager, and type in Rambo. And you'll want to install version 1.0.1. .1. Once that's done, hit Close. Go back to Tools, go to Board, and change the board to Rambo. And just verify that it actually made the change. Now Arduino is ready to compile the firmware. Next, there's some things we need to change within the Prusa firmware itself. So we want to go ahead and open up configuration.h, which you can get to here, or if you want to navigate through the folder system, you go firmware, configuration. Make sure you select the full configuration, not the config. We'll get into the config later. So we'll go to configuration.h, and the first change we want to make is we want to change this unknown line under define firmware dev version. We want to change that to gold. If you don't make this change, then every time you start your printer up, it'll populate, populate a message saying the printer is running unofficial firmware and to use it at your own risk. While this can be left alone, it can be annoying every time you power the printer. Another good option to change is this firmware commit number. Basically, this tells your printer what commit number of the firmware you're running. This would be very useful if you have multiple printers because you can go under the support option under your printer and check which version it's running there. Once you've made these changes, make sure you save the file. Next, we need to change the language within the config.h. To do that, you open the config.h file, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see two different lines talking about define language mode. All we want to do is we want to uncommit or delete these two forward slashes, and then we want to comment out the define language mode 1. So we want to have define language mode 0 as our primary language. And again, make sure you save this file. Lastly, what we need to do is set up the firmware for the printer variant that you have or printer version that you have. In this case, we'll use a MK3. So under firmware, you have the variants folder. Within the variants folder, you just want to copy the printer version that you have. In this case, I'm going to use a Mark 3. 
Once you copy it, you want to paste it inside the firmware folder itself. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rename it. So you rename it to configuration with a capital H underscore Prusa with a lowercase p. Now we're ready to compile the firmware. Inside the firmware folder, open up the firmware.ino file, which should have a little Arduino symbol next to it. Once Arduino opens, hit the check mark at the top. This is going to verify and compile the firmware to ensure that there's no errors along the way. This can also be done by going to sketch and verify and compile. As long as no errors get populated, your firmware is good to go. Last thing we need to do is export the hex file. To do that, we go back to sketch and go to export compiled binary. What this is going to do, it's going to re-verify and recompile the sketch and it's going to export it into a hex file. Once it says done compiling, go back to your firmware folder and you should see a firmware.ino.rambo.hex. At this stage, you can rename it to whatever you want, but that's your hex file that you would flash with Slicer. Well, that wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned for more in the series of custom firmware modifications for your Prusa printers, and have a bearded day.